Okay. Uh, looking into this particular lock, uh, I can tell that from the marks left inside this, uh, not only did we have a plain screwdriver used on this, but also a drill uh, was used on this to try and defeat it. And you can tell that from the lines you're seeing over and across here. There's another shot there, if I can get it focused in. Uh, lighting is sometimes an issue. But, uh, yeah, this tells me that somebody took the time to actually drill it and not just uh, force it using uh, just a pry uh, screwdriver. So this along with the uh, story that this all happened out in a field within a few minutes didn't really uh, go along with what uh, we're finding with the lock. But that's just one of the marks that you'll find inside. Uh, if a pick were used within this, I'll be seeing scratch marks on the lock wafers, uh, on a used lock, uh, anything over a year and a half old, even on a uh, newer vehicle. Uh, I'll be able to tell if a newer fresh cut key was placed within that uh, lock mechanism by the marks it leaves. So finding tool marks is what I look for. Uh, I use the same equipment on burned vehicles. Uh, even though the ignition lock and or door locks have been uh, subjected to uh, heat, uh, a lot of it a lot of the uh, marks on those wafers or such are still saved uh, within the casing of the aluminum uh, that's melted around it. So a lot of evidence is uh, gathered from even uh, fully burned vehicles. And that is pretty much what I do.